DSB is administered in three simple steps. The first step is to identify the apex of the femoral triangle by locating the sine of 3. The second step is to locate the distal femoral triangle region, 2 cm proximal to the apex of the femoral triangle, for the first injection. The third step is to locate the proximal adductor canal region, 2 cm distal to the apex of the femoral triangle, for the second injection. To accurately locate the apex of the femoral triangle, it's crucial to identify the adductor longus muscle by sliding the probe up and down until the loop of the adductor longus muscle is seen under the medial end of the sartorius muscle. Then, align the medial borders of both muscles to form the sign of a 3 on the medial side. This alignment indicates the apex of the femoral triangle. To locate the distal femoral triangle region, the probe is moved 2 cm proximal from the apex of the femoral triangle. It can be appreciated by seeing the medial border of the sartorius and adductor longus muscle 2 cm apart. Once the desired point on the thigh is marked, the probe is moved laterally without moving up or down. After making the lower border of the sartorius prominent, the hyperechoic saphenous nerve and nerve to vastus medialis can be identified lateral to the superficial femoral artery. The needle is inserted in plane from lateral to medial direction. The goal is to place the needle tip immediately adjacent to both the nerves. Each nerve is individually targeted with 7 to 10 milliliters of local anesthetic solution due to the presence of vasofemoral fascia between them, which can impede the desired spread. Suppose the nerve to vastus medialis is not seen clearly. It can be identified by neurostimulation, keeping the needle tip between the sartorius and vastus medialis muscles, or by depositing local anesthetic solution separating the two muscular planes lateral to the saphenous nerve just below the lower border of the sartorius muscle. After completing the first injection, maintain the needle in its current position. Slide the probe 2 to 3 cm distally from the initial injection site. Next step is to locate proximal adductor canal for second injection. For that the apex of the femoral triangle can be relocated by seeing a sign of 3. Now, move the probe an additional 2 cm distally to visualize the medial borders of the sartorius and adductor longus muscles, appearing 2 cm apart. This delineates the proximal adductor canal region. The distance between the needle entry points of the first and second injection should be more than 2 cm. The needle is inserted in plane from lateral to medial direction towards the superficial femoral artery. In this location, the lower border of sartorius appears bilayered due to the presence of the VAM. Furthermore, LA spread of the first injection can also be observed around the saphenous nerve nerve to vastus medialis, and between the sartorius and vastoadductor membrane. Initially, the needle is targeted at the 10 o'clock position, and approximately 2 to 3 milliliters of local anesthetic is injected to hygrodissect the area. Subsequently, the needle tip is positioned at the 12 o'clock position of the artery, and 10 to 15 milliliters of local anesthetic solution is injected paravascularly below the VAM. Occasionally, compression of the artery may be observed while injecting, which is known as the sunset sign. After completing the second injection, local anesthetic spread at the desired regions can be confirmed by rescanning to identify the apex of femoral triangle and then to locate distal femoral triangle and proximal adductor canal. Local anesthetic spread around the saphenous nerve and nerve to vastus medialis should be confirmed by moving the probe proximally into the femoral triangle region and distally into the adductor canal region and by tracing the nerves from above downwards. Upon tracing, the nerve to vastus medialis can be seen outside the adductor canal above the VAM, separated from the saphenous nerve. The involvement of the subsartorial plexus can also be confirmed by seeping LA spread above VAM.